Pines it is. Pines it is pines. Thank you. Like the tree. I can do that. Well, it's great to see everybody here. And I want to welcome, there are a number of people whose faces I'm not necessarily seeing, but names I'm seeing. And I hope that uh, you know that you are welcome. We're glad that you're joining us. So um, we'll begin this evening, um, I guess, by sort of just recognizing that we have um, a Havdalah, which is this difference, this differentiation between Purim, which we have now concluded, sure. and Shabbat, which we are about to embrace. So with that, we uh, begin our service.
As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we by our lives give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we in our own day be among those who kindle light. You have your Shabbat candles. Now would be the time to grab them and be prepared to light them as we recite the blessing. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kinshanu B'mitzvotav V'tzivanu Lehad Likner, Lehad Likner, Shel Shabbat. Yalla la 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 Yalla la 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 la
We now ask if you are able to please rise for the Barhu. Wisdom and wonder, passion and instruction, story and symbol, all these things your Torah gives to us, and the more we devote ourselves to it, the more it grows and gives. What could be a truer token of your abiding love than this holiest of your works and the living language that gives it form. Baruch Ata Adonai, Ohev Amo Yisrael. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem, 
כבוד מלכותו לעולם ועד. You may be seated if you were standing as we continue with the Via Hafta. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha v'chol levavcha u'v'chol nafshecha u'v'chol meodecha v'hayu hadvarim ha'ele asher anochi mitzavecha hayom alevavecha v'shinantam levanecha v'dibarta bam b'shivtecha b'vetecha u'flechtecha v'aterech u'fshoch becha u'fkumecha u'kshartam le'ot al yadecha v'hayu le'totafot b'in einecha u'ktabtam al mezuzot b'etecha u'visharecha Leman tiskeru vasitem et kol mitzvotai vitem kiroshim lelohechem. Ani Adonai lohechem. Asher ot seiti etchem meret mitzrayim lichiot lachem lelohim. Ani Adonai lohechem. In a world torn by violence and pain, a world far from wholeness and peace, give us the courage to say, Adonai, there is one God in heaven and earth. The high heavens declare your glory. May earth reveal your justice and love. From bondage in Egypt, we were delivered. At Sinai, we bound ourselves to your way. Inspired by prophets and instructed by sages, time and again, we overcame oppressive forces. Though our failings are many and our faults are great, it has been our glory to bear witness to our God, keeping alive in dark ages your vision of a world redeemed. Let us continue to work for the day when the nations will be one and at peace. Then shall we rejoice as Israel did singing on the shores of the sea.
ונאמר כי פדה אדוני את יעקב, וגלו מיד חזק ממנו, ברוך אתה אדוני גאל ישראל. Let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life storms. Adonai, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up waiting to do your will. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hapore Sukat Shalom, Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael, I invite you to rise if you are able as we transition into the Amidah. Thank you, Rabbi. Adonai tzifetai tivtachu fi agite hilatecha. Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu ve'elohe avoteinu v'imoteinu, Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, ve'elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, ve'elohe Leah. Ha'el ha'gadol ha'gibor v'hanara El elyon Gomel chasadim tovim V'konei ha'kol V'zocher chasdei avot v'imaot U'mevi gula l'ibnei b'neihem L'man shemo b'yahava Melech ozer u'moshia u'magen Baruch Ata Adonai, Magen Avraham Ve'ezrat Sarah. Ata Gibor Le'olam Adonai, Mechaye HaKol Atav Rav Lehoshia, Mashiv HaRuach U'morid HaGashem, Mechalkel Chaim Bechesed, Mechaye HaKol Berachamim Rabim. So mech noflim verofe holim Umatir asurim Umekayem emunato Lishene afar Micha mocha bagirurot Umido melach Melech me meet umechaye Umat miach yeshua V'ne'eman ata l'hachayot ha'kol Baruch ata Adonai Mechaye ha'kol Ata kadosh v'shimcha kadosh U'dekoshim b'chol yom yahalu l'cha sela Baruch ata Adonai Ha'el ha'kadosh You may be seated if you are standing. We'll join together. Our God and God of our ancestors, be pleased with our rest. Sanctify us with your mitzvot and grant us a share in your Torah. Satisfy us with your goodness and gladden us with your salvation. Purify our hearts to serve you in truth. In your gracious love, Adonai our God, grant as our heritage your holy Shabbat, that Israel who sanctifies your name may rest on it. Praise to you, Adonai, who sanctifies Shabbat. Baruch Ata Adonai, Mekadesh HaShabbat. You are with us in our prayer, our love, and our doubt, in our longing to feel your presence and do your will. You are the still, clear voice within us. Therefore, O oh God, when doubt troubles us, when anxiety makes us tremble, when pain clouds the mind, we look inward for the answer to our prayers. There may we find you, and there find courage, insight, and endurance. And let our worship bring us closer to one another, that all Israel and all who seek you may find new strength for your service. Baruch Ata Adonai, Sha'otacha Levadecha, Beyera Naavod. And can we continue together? God of goodness. We give thanks for 
I think I repeated this twice, but it's an important one. So let's read it again. God of goodness, we give thanks for the gift of life, wonder beyond words, for the awareness of soul, our light within, for the world around us so filled with beauty, for the richness of the earth, which day by day sustains us. For all these and more, we offer thanks. And we've already said that bracha, so we'll continue. Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Ki Ata Hu Melech Adon Lechol HaShalom Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Tassim Le'olam Tassim Le'olam Baruch Ata Adonai HaMevarech Et Amo Yisrael BaShalom we now take a moment for our own silent prayers and reflections. watch This Is Us. And of course I'm asking that, but right now I can pretty much only see myself. So I'm going to assume that some hands are being raised and others are not. For those who are unfamiliar, it's a TV show that's on NBC, but I watch it on Hulu, ostensibly about a set of triplets who are in their 30s. Unlike most shows where there's a clear progression of time and events through the different episodes and seasons. 
This show is unique in that each episode is a combination of snippets from scenes in the past, in the present, and in the future. Um, and as I was watching the last couple episodes this week, I couldn't help but think how Purim-esque it is by turning time on its head in this way. After all, that's what we do at Purim. We turn things on their heads. We do things in silly ways and backwards ways and the like. And without giving spoilers, the show will set some of these flashbacks or forwards to make you think the story is building to one thing, but then bam, nope, life goes in a different direction for the triplets. And it's so carefully crafted and written and it, it's carefully crafted in its writing and, and in its production. And so as I was sitting there watching one of these episodes at about midnight last night, nursing a baby, in that same way of like, bam, it hit me that this show, it's February. And we as a temple have been focusing on Black History Month and so has this show in their episodes over the last several weeks. You see Jack and Rebecca, the parents, were expecting triplets, but you find out in the pilot, small spoiler, but it's the first episode, um, that one of the babies is born as a stillborn. But they still go home with three babies because the same day, a black baby is left at a, abandoned at a fire station and they bring it in as their own. These last few episodes have focused on, one moment please, Danny, if you're going to be in here, you, you need to quit. Um, these last few episodes have focused on that baby who is now a grown up. Um, who, his name is Randall. And so he's adopted by this white family. He's lived in white suburbs in a predominantly white neighborhood. And now as an adult, he continues to live in a predominantly white neighborhood with his black wife and family. So without spoilers or mostly without spoilers, he and his family are experiencing in these last few episodes, the trauma that was the death of the George Floyd death and the riots following is where the show in the present is currently. Um, and he realizes how categorically different He's now seeing these racist events and where he's experiencing them with his family around him that are also black than he did as a child where he experienced them alone and he thinks back to watching the news sitting in his bedroom alone because he didn't want to make his white family uncomfortable. And later in the episode, he gets in an argument with his sister when she's asking him how he's doing after this incident and he points out that there was so much about his identity and experience as a black person that they just didn't see. That this wasn't the first incident of this kind, but it was the only one that the siblings could name. The show is a little bit like Purim. It upends things. We the, viewer, we, the viewers see things that the characters don't see in their own timelines. And I, a relatively privileged white viewer, see Randall's experience to the extent that a TV drama is real. And I started wondering as I'm watching this episode, what is it that's going around, maybe from my past or our community's past that I haven't seen, even though it was right there in front of me, like the white siblings to this adopted brother throughout all the flashbacks in the show. And then I turned this morning and I was looking at the Torah portion, which I could summarize in my fairly sarcastic way as tabernacle building, tabernacle building, and some more tabernacle building, or actually rules, rules for tabernacle building. I'll admit it's not one of my favorite portions in the entire Torah. But my mind was still going in the back with these themes of order and upending order. And I recall a midrash that's based on this section of Torah in general, where God selects Bezalel to be the, the artisan, the lead artisan in building the tabernacle. 
And God tells Moses that they should make a tabernacle, tabernacle first, an ark and vessels. When Moses gives the command to Bezalel, and the Talmud here imagines a little bit more of a conversation, the order gets reversed. And so Moses, I think I said that backwards. Moses tells Bezalel to do the tabernacle first and then the ark and vessels, whereas God had given it in the other order. No, I had it right the first time. God says, make a tabernacle and ark and vessels. And Moses flips it and says, vessels and ark and a tabernacle. That's what I get for looking up. When Bezalel creates the tabernacle, he does it in the order God commanded. And the Talmud imagines Bezalel saying back to Moses, Moses, our teacher, the standard practice throughout the world is that a person builds a house and only afterward places the vessels in the house. And you tell me to build an ark and vessels in a tabernacle? If I do so in the order you have commanded, the vessels I make, where should I put them? Perhaps God told you to make a tabernacle ark and vessels. He had the gut, he could see this bigger picture and he had the guts to call it out to Moses. He heard what Moses said and said, hmm, if I make the ark and vessels first, they're just going to be hanging out uncovered in the desert, exposed to the elements. That seems disrespectful. Let me do something. We, and well, suppose I should say I and only speak for myself, I've seen previous Floyd-like incidents of racist actions against Black people in the news or next to me as I've gone through my life. And there have certainly been times that I've thinking, I've thought, well, that doesn't seem right. But unlike Bezalel, did I have the guts to say to the person next to me or to people around me, let's stand up to those in power, let's say something and do this thing differently? Do we have the guts to say, uh, Moses, perhaps you got this wrong. Let's flip it around. The Purim story takes the queen and ousts her, takes an orphan and makes her queen, takes a prime minister and makes him the bad guy, takes the people slated for obliteration and makes them into the hero. Bezalel flips this order. Can we? 2020 taught us all a new word, or at least taught me a new word, anti-racist. Can we go beyond being colorblind or not racist, the things that I was proud to be a year ago, to being an anti-racist, which I didn't even know existed a year ago? Can we be the Bezalel that has the courage to speak up to power and say, uh, this ain't right, it needs to change? And perhaps this February, as we honor Black History Month, that it is racism and making sure that Blacks and people of color are treated equally and don't experience these things. Whether it's something as large as um, George Floyd's death or even smaller things like my friends being asked to pay before eating at the buffet when I went with my black friends, but we never had to pay before eating if I went with only white friends. Maybe the it is another justice cause for you. Maybe the it is a personal cause or quality or virtue you want to hone for yourself. Or maybe that it is something else entirely. There's a lot of it's in our lives that aren't quite right. Forum gives us a chance in the depths of winter when the days are short and as I'm sitting here and I'm remembering back when we first started doing virtual services, it was still light out and now it is pitch black out there. In this depth of winter to be silly and to play and be frivolous and I've spoken before on how that can kind of get us through the harshness of the winter. But sometimes through that play, through that kind of turning things around and doing things in a weird way, we can come to see things a little bit different. I can't be the real Randall Pearson that's lived life as a black man. I'm not black and I'm not a dude. 
but I also don't want to be just the so-called woke white person suddenly realizing how blind they've been and wallowing in how dense we've been to not see these things. I wanna see a different future where anti-racist, anti-sexist, anti-classist, anti-ableist, anti-fill in the blank with a whole bunch of other things here ist is the norm. So that maybe just maybe the sacred spaces we create, the tabernacles big and small in our lives, we can fill with arcs and vessels that meet that vision. And so I'll close with, with pondering, did Bezalel get it right? that the tabernacle had to come first, only later to be filled with sacred vessels. Or perhaps Moses got it right that we had to start with the smaller things, start with the vessels that would fill this sacred vision and build up to the bigger vision. Or maybe we just don't have to choose because at Purim time, nothing has to be linear when it comes to time. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you. <clears throat> a beautiful message, an important one for this Shabbat. Mishaberach avotenu me'inotenu, mishivarach virape etacholim. May the one who has blessed and kept our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, who has kept all of our family and all of our people in years past, who continues to bring healing today to all who seek God's healing. We think especially right now of Rhonda Hathaway, Gershon Ruvain Ben Esther, Barb Gronefeld, Linda Dean Harris, Jenny Curtis, Rivka Bat Avraham Vasara, Marilyn Cummings, Dee Shaw, Sherry Alpert, William Rossi, Estelle Nor Noriega, Rosalind Moss, Tom Brown, Jeanette Patton, Sharla Davison Gates. Tyler Zeisloft, Pat Bloom, Ronald Epstein, James Hockman, Judith Perlman, Laura Kundert, Melinda Glovka, Helen Fine, Jeremy Wise, Ed Bulin, Christine Wagner, Tracy Huddleston, Joe McKenna, Ellen Goodrich, Mark Romanofsky, Jerry McDonald, Richard Lieberman, Joel Pinsker, Marty Sacker, Laura Holtzinger Levin, Avraham Ben Avraham Vasara, Dave Bussey, Bob and Gert Khan, uh, Jay Bainbridge, Chelsea Smith, Shava Eta, Rory Freisler, and Deborah Seidel, and of course, all who we name now in our hearts, as we say, Baruch Atadunai, Rofei HaCholim, blessed are you, O God, who brings healing to all who are seeking your healing. Amen. Avotenu mekor abracha leimotenu may the source of strength who bless the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. Mi sheberach imotenu mekor abracha leavotenu Bless those in need of healing with refuah shlema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say Amen. We now ask if you are able to please rise for our Aleinu prayer. 
עלינו לשבח לאדון הכל, לתת גדולה ליוצר בראשית, שלא עשנו כגויי הארצות, ולא שמנו כמשפחות האדמה, שלא שם חלקנו כהם, וגור עלינו ככל המונם. ואנחנו קוראים ומשתחווים ומודים לפני מלך מלכי המלכים הקדוש ברוך הוא. Let the time not be distant, O God, when all shall turn to you in love, when corruption and evil shall give way to integrity and goodness, when superstition shall no longer enslave the mind, nor idolatry blind the eye, may all created in your image become one in spirit and one in friendship, forever united in your service. Then shall your realm be established on earth and the word of your prophet fulfilled. Adonai will reign forever and ever. <laughs> If you have stood, I invite you to please have a seat. Recognizing that some people are, are rising physically, but others have been rising spiritually in these moments. At this time, we remember those who are no longer with us. And for some, we are observing a first yard site even. We recall at this time, Ronnie Allen, Jeanette Bellin, Lillian M. Brown, Hyman Carney, Marlene Carney, Anna B. Cushman, Kenneth Dickstein, Jerome Dushman, Jerome Epstein Sr., Armin Farr, Gladys Finkelman, Marianne Flax, Herschel Forsyth, Glenna M. Frank, Rick Fried, Jerome Friedman, Elizabeth Gerns, Herman M. Gershow, Jerry Goldstein, Donald Green, Jenny G. Greenberg, Bruce Stephen Helfert, Jacob Hoffman, Herman Lehman, Ruth Levitt, Sadal H. Lewis, Jenny Lieberman, Lois Lowry, Daniel J. Maiman, Ruth Margolin Pines, Pat Menikoff, Yosef Mayorovich, Louise Noodleman, Jean Phillips, Herbert Mark Reiser, Rose Lambie Rosenthal, Norman P. Ross, Louise Efrath Rosenschild, or Rothschild, Frida Semmelman, Charles B. Shaman, Jenny Schecht, Ellen R. Sperling, Irene Wolf Sreer, Corinne P. Stern, Mildred Stevenson, Rita Goldman Strauss, Abraham Weinberg, Beth Wynn, Ruben L. Zalk, and Dennis Zappin, and of course, all who we name now in our hearts or perhaps pronounce differently. I invite all who are remembering or in mourning to please rise first if you are able. As we as a community rise both in spirit and if we are able um, in body to recite the sacred words of our tradition, the Mourner's Kaddish. Please join with me. Yit Kedal Vit Kadash Shemei Rabbah the Alma Divrach Yote Viam Lif Mahute, the Hayechon of Yomechon, Uvhaye de Holbet Israel, the Agala Uvisman Kariv, Vimru Amen. Yehesh me Rabba Mevarach Lealam Ulame Almaya, Yit Barach Vishtabach, Vit Paar Vit Romam Vit Nase, Vit Hadar Vit Ale Vit Halal, Shame de Kudsha Barichu. The Ela min kol birchata v'shirata, tush birchata v'nechemata, da amiran b'alma v'imru. Amen. Yehe shlama raba min shemaya, v'chayim aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru. Amen. Osei shalom b'imromav, 
Huya ase shalom, aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael, v'imru, amen. Zirchanam livracha, may their memories always and only be for a blessing. I invite those of us who have some fruit of the vine to go ahead and get it, as we will continue with our Shabbat Kiddush. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Borei Puri HaGafen. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher kidshanu b'mitzvotav v'ratza b'anu V'shabbat kodsho b'ahava u'v'rason yinchilanu Zikharon nemase b'reshit Ki hu yom techila l'men kraye kodesh Zecher l'tziyat mitzrayim Kivanu vacharta, viotanu kidashta, mikol hamim, vishabat kochecha, beahava uvratzon, inchaltanu, baruchata donai, mikadesh hashabat. Lechaim. We will now continue with our Hamotzi prayer. Hamotzi lechem min haaretz. We give thanks to God for bread. Our voices rise in song together. As our joyful prayer is said, Baruch Atarunai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Hamotzi Lechem Min Haaretz B'te Avon Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. How wonderful to have us all together. I invite you, please, if you're able to take um, yourselves off mute and just say hello and wish one another a good Shabbos. It's always Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom everyone. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom, y'all.